Now, I just mentioned that this bring to front center back always works unless you're involved with layers. And that can add a complication, but of course, really, it's just another tool designed to help you out. And it is very helpful. And here it is, up in the layers window. I'll open that out and I'll drag it out onto the desktop. And this is my default layer, layer one. It's selected because it's shaded in blue and it's visible because this eye icon is on. And if I click on that little arrow there, it will show me every single object that I've put on that layer. And until I create more layers, everything I put on the page is going to show up in this list. If I select a couple of objects, and you can see now they're selected, this little blip here means a selected object. Now I'm going to go Object Group. And they become one item called a group, and there's another arrow next to it. And inside that group, we've got the individual components. You can click on a component of a group and click on the little square at the end and you can select just that object or you can click on the square at the end on a group item and select both of them or you can select everything on the layer like that. The layers window is very useful because if you create additional layers it allows you to keep things separate and that can be very important. If you're making a brochure for example and you want a colored background, you can put the colored background in place on one layer, and then you can put all your other stuff, the text and the images and so on, in place on subsequent layers, which means you have the ability to keep them separate and not keep on interfering with the stuff that's on a different layer. And that is where layers get very useful indeed. So I'll show you how to move objects from one layer to another, how to lock layers, how to create new layers, and how to delete them.